people think about the issues. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what I, I mean, I always write happy songs and stuff like that, but the older you get, you know, like I'm 28, I'm not old or anything like that, but I've been learning a lot over the last few years, and uh, there's just so much to say and not a ton of time, so I want I to do as much as I can with what I've got. So it just kind of opened my, my eyes, like, wow, I can, I can do more, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so how do you hope your music will affect others? Um, well, for me, the central theme of my music and what I do in my life is love, you know? Like, uh, it's a huge part of my life. Like, I talked about my family mm -hmm. and uh, my girl and, and uh, my friends and my music and just people. Like, I'd rather get along with people than not. And, uh, which I think most people do, but some people don't have a lot of love in their life, you know, and that's one thing that I want to, you know, bring bring to people's worlds, you know, is like uh, just good times and, and, you know, as well as talking about certain things, like talk about issues, just being that light in someone's day that if they're having a, not a good day or, or something's wrong in their life or whatever, if they can put my CD in or put a song on or upload a song from iTunes or whatever it means, and if I have an effect that's a positive thing on someone's life, no matter how small or big, um, no, that's that that's really cool for me. You know, that's not why I do this, but that's why I, um, it's kind of part of the music that I do is that that's kind of the kind of person I am. So I don't know, it's it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's known that one of your musical influences the Beatles. Um, what's <laughs> your favorite song by them? Oh wow, I've been asked that before. Um, in my life, I think, by John Lennon. What about right now, like at this time of your life? What would be your favorite song by them? By them? I'd, I'd say in my life, yeah, oh. for sure. I know, I just came up with that right yeah. now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, in my life, I don't know, like, uh, like I say, like, I've been really introspective on life lately. A lot of my songs are dealing with, like, life and how exciting it can be and, and uh, like, go out, go out there and see things. And um, I don't know, that, to me, that, that song just did such a, uh, a melancholy, sorrowful, but happy kind of song to me. I don't know, it's, John Lennon was on to something for sure. <laughs> okay, so do you have any words to live by? Um, I guess I just have to say love, you know, like love as much as you can, you know, and, and there's all, always going to be negative things in your life, but it's how you turn those negatives into positives and make them makes sense and, and always growing, you know? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, even what I do, you know, it's like you go to do the same thing, go to the club every night, do this and that, your day's pretty streamlined, you know, like you don't have a lot going on. As long as you can evolve who you are and what you do, then I think um, you're gonna go, uh, you know, you'll find a good path. Okay, so you wanna take us out with another song? Or? Sure. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Gotta find that sweet spot. <laughs> that bubble butt. Now uh, this song's called Diggy, and uh, I wrote it in Costa Rica about a year, a year a bit, maybe it was longer than that. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it's just like a fun song. It's about enjoying the beach, and I was on the beach having some dinner with some friends, and uh, and I just started singing this song, Diggy, Diggy, Diggy. Dig. So they're doing this, everyone was clapping, and then. And then we were all laughing because we were like, this is kind of funny. Like, this, what is this? I, I didn't know. And uh, it just kind of came into this. Into this. Mm -hmm. 